Hey guys, um, so it's like, I don't know, 1.30 in the afternoon and I just finished getting Bash dressed and we came back into the playroom to play a little bit more. And while we were in here, he passed clean out on the floor. Now I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. If I should leave him, if I should transport him to his crib, or if I should still go ahead with the plans that I had, which was to um, run out because I need to grab a couple things, I think from the dollar store for his milestone photo shoot for um, seven months, which is in a couple weeks, but I like to go ahead and get it because they run out of, it's St. Patty's themed and they run out of all the things that I need before actual St. Patty's day. So I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I initially planned on just going for a walk outside because it's so beautiful out and to tire him out that way, but it looks like I didn't need to do that. He looks so cute though, look. Poor little guy passed clean out. Like toys still on and everything. So I guess I'm just gonna clean up and then figure out what my next move is. So if you're wondering what happened, I was going to leave him on the floor just until I cleaned up the playroom, but the postman came like right after I decided to do that and the dog went nuts and all of her barking woke him up. So I figured, well, since he's up, let's go ahead and go. This is exactly what I was looking for. Let's see. You walk in. Look at all the Easter stuff. I really need to start getting your Easter basket ready. This is so exciting, your first Easter basket. I don't know what you guys were planning to do as far as like your Easter baskets are concerned, but if anybody's wondering, they have tons of candy at the dollar store and all kinds of little goodies for kids. We were going to get our Easter basket from um, Pottery Barn Kids. That way we can use it every single year, but there's tons of stuff I plan on filling it with, so I'll probably come back here really soon to get um, like the goodies that go inside. So I decided to stop at Steak and Shake. Oh my gosh, living this close to one of these things is like bad, you guys. I love Steak and Shake and there, now that we live out here like in the suburbs, there's so many chains and things that I haven't eaten since like I lived at home or went to college. And so living this close to a Steak and Shake is literally the worst thing you could do for my thighs. Like I get a milkshake every single time I come and that's in addition to my meal but I just can't say no. I just crushed that steak and shake. It was so good. I ate half of it in the car uh, on the way home and the rest of it um, once I got inside. Bash has still not taken a nap yet. I don't know what tonight's gonna be like because he's not sleeping right now. And Brandon came home. You can probably hear him. Brandon came home from work early and I think we are all about to go. <laughs> out for a walk as a family. got bashed down the first transfer was unsuccessful and I had to rock him because he woke up when I put him down in the crib but the second time worked it's 
pretty late in the afternoon but honestly it's friday like if he's up all night it's totally fine it's not like we have many plans tomorrow and he just needed that nap there's no way he would have made it till bedtime sometimes you just gotta roll with it what are you doing uh, i'm just dishwasher cleaning up trying to help out some other way thanks babe mm -hmm. Brennan's so sweet. If I can't finish something like during the day or get, you know, something done around the house that I would like to do, like he'll handle it so that I don't have to like feel overwhelmed. And I think that that's so sweet. So he's down there emptying the dishwasher because I didn't get around to doing it today. And uh, he's just so good to me. But anyway, I'm in my bathroom because I'm cleaning up and I figured um, I would show you guys some of my makeup. I get a lot of questions on how I do my makeup and if I would do a tutorial and honestly the answer is probably not anytime soon. I don't think that I'm good enough at makeup to really show anyone or tell anyone what to do. I know the basics of like applying you know, con concealer, foundation, and contouring but only on my own face. So I'll show you guys what I use um, but I don't know if I'm actually gonna ever do a um, a tutorial, at least not anytime soon. Makeup, but this is the um, primer that I use. And then when I don't have Fenty, I usually use what well, I only use um, Mac Match Masters, and I think this is 8.5. Yes, but and that's foundation, but I prefer Fenty over anything. I think this is so pretty and it's matte and there are 42 different, I always say flavors, but it's um, shades. So there is a shade for everyone. The next thing I use is Hax, um Concealer. Yeah, I put this on under, sometimes over, depending on how I feel. My foundation, whatever one I'm using that day and today is Fenty. I use MAC um, powder. Then lately I've been using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Erin gave it to me. Thanks girl. And um, the cool thing about this is not only do um, the colors look really pretty, but it smells like chocolate too, like cocoa powder. It smells amazing. And I, I can smell it right now, oh my gosh. I use this one these the most like this whole area right here and that one the most I have not tried actually I have tried this pink and I put it the pink and this one together and that was really pretty I have not tried these yet and I use this in my crease sometimes too actually I use this a lot in my crease but um, these like more um, pinker colors right here and these purples I have not used yet but I will soon Maybe the next time I go out somewhere. And then the other day when I was at Sephora, here's two of the things that I bought while I was there. A Sephora um, lip pencil. I believe the color is molasses. I just tried it for the first time today and I really liked it. And then this is just a black eyeliner and I got a couple more of those. And then I lined my lip it, lips in this and then I used um, Max Chintz. I believe it's called and it is a it's so flat I use it all the time but it's a brown um, like shimmery lipstick and I use that all the time I get a lot of compliments on that so if you're into I don't know brown lipstick it looks good on my face I don't know if it'll work on everyone's but I love that and then I also use um let me see if I can dig it out in my makeup bag real quick I think this is it yes come on focus ruby woo from mac and this is gorgeous it's red and it looks good on everybody every single girl out there can wear ruby woo every girl no matter what skin tone so i highly recommend it if you're looking for a red ruby woo and then for um Mascara, I am old school. I was raised in the 90s. Like this works just fine. It is Maybelline, the green and pink. And I do have other ones that I use like um, a L'Oreal and what's my other one? 
I can't remember but this is what I have all the time and have on all the time I have no lashes so honestly nothing really makes a difference in my opinion I need to get like um I need to call my friend she sells Rodan and Fields Morgan maybe I'll, oh I'll put her information down below but um I need to get the last lash boost from her because my lashes it doesn't matter what I use they always look the same so I'm not gonna go spend a bunch of money on a mascara that's not really going to make much of a difference and maybe I will get the courage to do a tutorial like I said but it just won't be um, in the near future but those are my favorite products that I use every single day on my face <laughs> I think it's time to go night. I think it's time to go night. What do you think, Bubs? Oh, <laughs> you got it. I think it's time to go night night. Let's get ready for bed. Brennan ended up falling asleep, but I stayed up and watched a movie, and now I'm regretting it. I'm so sleepy. As you can see, I am no longer in my robe. I have gotten dressed for the day. Bash and I are in the car, and Brandon is going to follow us in the other car, and we're about to go pick up my Jeep. Vlogging is definitely still something I'm getting used to doing, and so... Um, bear with me if you find my vlogs like boring or if you don't like them. I'm still getting the hang of it, but I really love doing it. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you check the links in the description box below. Oh, and turn your notification bell on so you get a notification every time I put up a new video. And I will see you in my next one. Thanks. Bye.